Welcome back, Dwayne. What's she doing here? Me? Oh, I'm here because of this. That woman is a bad influence on you. I think you should return to Ma Blizz and think about the path she's leading you down. I'll be waiting. I see she's got you on a short leash. He showed it to me on his own. Unlike you, I don't feel the need to treat him like a child. He's his own man. Oh, please, Dwayne? He's lucky he can tie his own shoes without me. Not to mention his gambling addiction. It's not an addiction. It's a part of him. You'd realize that if you loved him like I... Oh. I see. Maria? Can you wait for me outside? Are you sure? Yeah. I need to talk to Katarina alone. I... understand. So, you really have changed, haven't you, Dwayne? I forgive you. What? For the way you treated me. I forgive you, Karen. Oh, do you love her? Yes. And it's not nice to keep her waiting. Goodbye, Karen. Goodbye, Dwayne. As you can tell, in the process of leveling up, someone learned Life 3. You'll never guess who. No, it's not Maria. She actually didn't get something busted. So we have Wedge now. I'm really upset he's the one that got it, but whatever. We are going to go ahead. I've got Dwayne on the team because I'm going to attempt to preserve him in the tower to make it go a little easier. Maria, I guess you should probably have a wall ring. Yeah, she's going to be the only one with a wall ring, actually. <laughs> That's rough, but we should be fine. Uh, the other thing is that I have less than an hour before I have to go to work, so we're on a time crunch. Let's get in there. I remember you guys. We can kill you easy. Ah, that's right. She can't have a wall ring either. No one's going to have a wall ring. She has to have a fairy ring for Ultima. So there's that. Dwayne is confused as hell. Okay, so you do need a fairy ring. No one, we're doing the no wall ring run. Holy crap, I did not expect this. Luckily, we're decently high level and everybody's got decent equipment. So the meteor, we should survive the meteor when it happens, I think. Especially like, look at Maria's freaking health, dude. That's what happens when you have an HP uh, Esper. So this Ultima is going to uh, kill them, but yeah, it's gonna kill him, so I don't need to worry about Berserking Dwayne, but I think it'll work. I think Berserking Wayne, uh, Dwayne will work. Wayne? Gretzky? Bruce? I don't know. I think it's gonna work, though, and that, that might really help on the higher floors. Let me just try. I think Wedge has Berserk. He does. Man, they really are aiming for Dwayne, too. Let's see if this Berserk works. Okay. So, he is going to be able to throw fixed dice up here, but this Ultima is probably going to take it. If not, dice are coming. Oh, we got it. Okay. And Dwayne, you are getting targeted like a motherfucker. And we only have Cure? That's great. At least it's one MP. So I almost feel like, instead of the Genji Glove, we just give him one pair of fixed dice with the red jacket and give him a wall ring for now. I think that's better, but, but, but when we get to Magi Master, we'll change that. Yeah, because now he can equip a Paladin Shield. That's great. There we go. So now Dwayne is protected from magic, and he's got a Paladin Shield, so anything that gets through will be healed, and he's going to throw four sets of fixed dice instead of eight. What he has equipped doesn't protect him from Berserk, though, right? Oh, it will, because Berserk won't go through the wall now. Okay, so that's not an option. I'm, I'm a big liar. Yeah, okay, so never mind on the wall ring for Dwayne. It might yet be a good idea to keep a paladin shield on him, though, I think. So we can give him a different relic over the Genji glove still. But it's not going to be a wall ring, because we need him to be able to be preserved. And one's going to be dead after the ultimate, and the other one's going to lay three back again. Man, 
This might take longer than I think. I don't know. We'll see. Is the break gonna work? Oh uh, yeah, I should know better than to think I could stone a Gorgon, I guess. But it's dead now. Okay, so honestly, I can put a wall ring on Dude. Because he's going to be mimicking for the most part, not actually casting. So yeah, I think I'm going to wall ring him. He loses the ability to have one MP stuff, but that's fine. Uh, Dwayne, how about Marble Shoes? Can you still equip a Paladin Shield? There we go. The only reason he would have an Economizer effect on us is so he can heal us out of battle with Cure for one MP, but Cure doesn't cost that much. Yeah, not getting a lot of encounters, that's good. Poke too soon. Wedge, are you dead from that? Oh my, yes. Um, I guess we're gonna bring Wedge back. Wedge was supposed to stay alive to Berserk Dwayne. That's not happening. When we get up to Magi Master, we'll probably wall ring everybody except for Dwayne, because we won't need one MP cost for that last fight, and we'll just go with Berserk and Dwayne. This whole Berserking thing isn't actually working out too well, because either Dwayne dies too fast, Wedge dies too fast to Berserk him, or our Ultimos just clear everything anyway. He's basically here for the uh, fight with Magi Master, I think. Yeah, see, he got Berserk there and didn't even get to do anything. All right. Oh shit, and that whole time I had the, I still had the level up thing on from my grinding. Whoopsie daisies. Whatever, it happens. <laughs> I don't have time to go back to the bottom and fix it without it, so I disabled him now. So no more 12,000 EXP per battle. See, now we have a preemptive, so we can actually get the Berserk off, I think. Ultima's gonna happen first, no matter what. Oh, okay. Didn't matter. Maria's just killing everything. I'm avoiding doors, because I don't want to get thrown down a floor. Level 80, here we go. He blocked it! That asshole. Okay, here we go. Ow. He blocked it again. Paladin Shield will do that, I guess. Life 3. Oh, thanks. <laughs> Thought you were gonna do it to the meteor thing. Oh, you're doing it to us. That's awesome. Then we'll survive your meteor even if you kill us. Alright, good. Two Ultimas takes care of them, at least. This is the top floor? It is. Okay. So was the walk up here worth it for what's in the box? Well, nope. we're not gonna find out for a minute. Level 90s. Okay, Dwayne's gonna be dead here. Which is fine. I'm gonna life 3 Maria just in case here. Merton. Are you hurt by Merton? healed by, of course. Okay. All right, Dwayne, get your ass up. We're gonna re-equip you. You're getting your Genji glove back. You're getting double fixed dice. Getting your red jacket. What's in the box? A thunder shield. Think we had one of those already? We didn't. Auto save, no image, bolt two. Okay, neat. Absorb HP, 50% damage, no effect. All right. All right, well, we got a thunder shield and also, who cares? Um, why don't you have a Paladin Shield if you can equip one? <sighs> Tony. Yeah, I think we're good to go here. We're actually gonna count on Dwayne living here. Oh my god, it's actually the paparazzi. Hey, look, it's Maria. Snap, 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 snap. They're just taking pictures. I appreciate the fandom, but I really gotta get out of here. Let me out. Oh god, it's Cozy Rhino. Um, yeah, this Cozy Rhino was her, uh, was her understudy. She's here for revenge. Okay, so let's start life three in. Oh, I forgot to wall ring everybody, that's okay, that's okay. I pretty much have to wait for Wedge to keep getting turns and life three everybody. And then I can start chucking Ultimas. Granted, as long as one person lives, we win this. I would like it if everyone lived. Ow, Dwayne. We just need one more life three cast from me, Wedge, and we'll be able to go. All right, there we go. Now we can start throwing Ultimas. And Wedge can start, uh, berserking Dwayne if he lives here. He didn't. He's dead. I don't really want to elixir him either. Just mimic the Ultima. 
It's Berserk, Dwayne. We all have life three, so when he does his Ultima, we will get back up. It just depends on if he has life three or not. Because if he has life three, then we have we have problems. It's literally a stalemate. And he's berserked and he's dead now, so three. Dwayne's like a lost cause. He couldn't even help us for this fight. He's great everywhere but the Fanatics Tower. Oh my god. Now Maria's dying. Dude, why are you so fast? Chill. I wish I would have remembered to put my freaking wall rings on everybody like I said I was going to. Now Dwayne's dead again. I'm not even picking him up, dude. He's useless for this fight. He's useless for the whole Fanatics Tower, actually. But we're just gonna continuously Ultima here. Do I have to pull- I have to put a life 3 on somebody again. I think Wedge still has his. I hope Wedge still has his, because if not, this might kill it and it's gonna Ultima us. Nope, he's still alive. Okay, so we have the life 3 going down on Maria then. Good, good. And we're just chucking Ultimas. Okay, here's his. He better not have life 3 or else we're locked here. We can't actually win. life three. <sighs> so we actually get our final Esper. Bahamut. Fire slow rasp level minus one. What a journey for w such a reward, man. Let me just tell you. Right, go ahead with the marble shoes back. Get your fixed ice. Red jacket. You're never going to get to do anything, but there you are. It's time to pull a like a Beatles reference here. Rooftop concert, it's time to sing. Give them a tune. One that'll bring hope to this hopeless world. Beautiful, Maria. All right, let's get the hell off of this dumb tower. Level 90s, meteor. Ultima, mimic Ultima. I think two Ultimas takes them out anyway, so not too scared. Even if they do another uh, meteor for whatever reason. Um. Oh shit, nice reflected cure three. And a flare on Maria. Okay, that actually could be pretty bad. I was about to say, if he even does another Meteor, we'll survive because Maria's huge HP pool, but she just got flared to death. But two Ultimas still wins, so I think we'll, that's how that fight is going to go pretty much all the time. And now we'll try and go indoors because it might spit us out lower. There's a box. Tortoise Shield. Smit me down, please. Oh my god, I hate stairs! Okay, so level 80s just like to bounce heal spells off of us and onto them, so not really a big deal. Have another Ultima. Call me in the morning. Oh, I mean, don't, because you'll be dead. This should be the door that spit us down to the first floor the one time, right? No. I don't think you can go up. I think it can only spit you down, so at some point we'll be just in good shape. Yeah, these are like level 30s and... 20s and 10s so yeah we're we're down a floor we're on the we're on the upswing here and this is the last floor oh yeah nothing here is gonna bother us Dwayne learned meteor all oh, from the paladin shield nice oh my god every time I mess up on steps I get in an encounter well, Dwayne throw that meteor let's see how much you're doing buddy after you get hit in the face with a missile
Yeesh. Come on, get me out of here. Ah, okay. We're out. We're out of the Fanatics Tower. It was surprisingly not that bad this time. We've completed every optional dungeon in the game. We've gotten every Esper we can get until Kafka's Tower after we beat the last two dragons. Yeah, man, we're pretty much ready to go. We're leveled. A lot of the reason why that Fanatics Tower wasn't so bad is because it was post-level up, which I don't like to do. I would much rather have Life 3 before I level up getting it, but, you know, what can you do? Anyway, that's the end of this episode. I gotta get ready to go to work. Until next time, that will be the final review, and uh, thanks you guys for watching. I'll see you then. Peace.